Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today I want to talk to you about chroma key. Now, obviously you're seeing a chroma key background in behind me, and the reality is this background has been behind me the whole time in other videos, it's just that normally it's gone. Um, what I have in front of me right here is I have a YOLO box, and first I am going through so you can see the interface that I'm working with. I have this camera that I'm talking to, I have my overhead view so you can see what I'm doing on here, and then I have this other camera view that you can see the YOLO box I'm working on, my monitor, uh, my camera, my microphone, all of these components that are in my studio, and you can see this big backdrop behind me, and when I wave my hands in front of the lights, you can, you can see the shadows. So the key, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the background from my main shot, this shot. And the way you do that is you hit the little person icon in the upper right hand corner of that camera feed. So now we're in a special keying switch. We're going to turn the keying on and the green is gone. You can adjust. You can see as I adjust similarity, you can see as it just starts to go away, you know, we get to a certain point and then we can adjust the smoothness for the proper thing. Now, at the bottom it says background image. At the, and underneath it you can see picture in picture. We're going to get to that in a minute, but this let's just start with a basic background image. We'll click on here. We'll pick a background image of an office. Done. And ta-da! I'm in an office. I got a little bit of green around my arms you can see, so you can use the, the similarity to adjust that. You could, you could use these. Oops. You don't want to go too far. You don't want to, oh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> you, you, just, you want to get it so where it looks smooth based on your setup. I have a big soft light in front of me. I actually have two low light, two lights down here to fill in the bottom of the green screen so I can actually get pretty close to it. It's still keys out. You don't see many shadows. And that's the key is to make that green as bright and as shadow free as possible. I say done. So you can see over here, I still do have shadows, but they're minimized. So the shadows from the big light on top are offset by the lights I have down here underneath my table. And overall, the main shadow is behind me. So you're not going to see that and that's going to key out pretty well. So if you cut back to the main shot, this is how it looks. Now, now I have a shot. My camera shoe, you can see it's HDMI 1, it doesn't show the background from the camera, but when you do select it, you get the composite view, as we call it. Now, the question is, can I have video behind me? And the answer is yes. You do this, we're going to add a video card. We're going to add a video first. So let's scroll down here, take this. Uh, actually, I was using this one before. This one's pretty cool. Done. So now I have a video. I added a video source. It has to be part uh, one of the things that you can select as part of your program. Then we add a picture in picture video. What's the background? The video that I just loaded, that motion graphic looping background. That's next. What's the thing on top? Well, it's going to be me. It's going to be the shot of me that has no background because the thing that the YOLO box doesn't do is it does not take that composite video and put it over top of uh, the composite shot from input one. It doesn't put that plus the background over top of the other item. It could, but it doesn't. But what that lets you do is it lets you put me, as you can see me, into or over top of a video background. Now here's where it gets interesting. Nope, I always get this wrong. Over here, <laughs> you can see scale and aspect ratio. The scale is the key thing. If we adjust the scale really big, now I am as big as the background. You could adjust the aspect ratio, which we don't need to do, but is very useful in other aspects. Done. So now you can see my picture in picture video in the bottom in the center down here. We select that and I am over video. I'm keyed over top of the video background and you can have anything playing behind you, any video clip, and it will loop automatically. That is a great feature. It could be really long. It could be really short, just a couple of seconds. This one um, is, I think, 16 seconds. So 
It's not terribly long, but it's long enough that it doesn't feel overly repetitive. You can't adjust the speed, you can't crop the video or zoom into it further or things like that. But in terms of me being over a background, here we are. And you can see from this view that it's the exact same background. I'm doing all of this in the Yolo Box Pro, using loading a video as the background, picture in picture, with my chroma keyed camera view over top of it. That's the key. Now, my chroma keyed camera view is still available as a shot. If I select HDMI 1, which is right here, if I select HDMI 1, it's going to bring the still image version in front of the viewers. It's going to put that in program. But internally, what it does is it, it, it just holds the green screen version. So if I want to do picture in picture, it's not going to bring this background with me. It's going to put me over the video. And that is how you can put yourself over a video background. It could be two people side by side. It could be whatever, however big your green screen is, that's up to you. You can leverage this. You can put video in the background. It will loop automatically. This is how you do that chroma key to deliver the motion background behind you that you want to use. My name is Anthony Barocas for Yolo Live. Thanks for watching.